I think I've found a new job for some of my old bricks. Hmm, like maybe making an old antique book. This one looks like it's been in the attic for quite a few years. And you might say, well, how am I going to use these? They make really pretty good bookends. And this old book that I'm putting in here is going to be my model that I go by to paint. So here's a suggested uh, supply list here, but you can use basically whatever you have. I'm using uh, kind of a flat a black for the cover of the book so that it's not shiny. I'm using black gesso. So we're moving on to the the pages in the book, which are kind of a dirty down white, like an old book would be, kind of dirty pages. The pages you can spend a lot of time at and fine tune them and give them a lot of detail. So you can spend as much time on this as you want. You can't hurt it. You can't overwork it. <laughs> That's the thing about painting an old brick. If you make a mistake, you just paint over it. Now time to use my trusty ruler here to create the edge of the the book cover. Make it fairly straight. I will be using this quite a bit. Now the top, get the top book cover, and work on the binding a little bit. Now we can give the pages a little detail here. This is the fun part. And remember, if you don't get what you want the first time, just paint over it, do it again. Fine tune it till you get what you want. There again, here we're using the ruler to keep those pages a little bit straight. It is an old book, you know. On these battered books, the, the cover, if it's chipped, it seems like it's red under there. So I've kind of doctored up the corners a little bit. And we can stress out the edges, make them look worn. Now it's time to figure out what we're going to name this book and paint something to write on back here. I 
I've noticed a lot of the old books, the back of it is is blue. This is what I'm painting right now. And then my trusty gold felt pen. Yeah, we're getting there. You can work more on those pages. Now I'll try to figure out what we're going to title this. It's helpful if you uh, cut a piece of paper the width of your book and practice writing the, the title on there so that you only have to do it once when you put it on. And I'm using my Sharpie pen to kind of texture it a little bit, make it old. And this is my signature. And there you have it. I hope you found this enjoyable and I hope you'll try it.